Hello everyone, this is the weekly love reading for the sun of Capricorn. Hope everyone's doing well. Send a love and light to all. Thank you to everyone that has liked, shared, subscribed, hit the notification bell. If you have purchased a reading or have donated to my page, I am so grateful. Okay, thank you so much. The energy here could be masculine or feminine. Could be about yourself, the person you're thinking of, or your cross watcher. Do you want to take what resonates, leave what does not, please? Okay, I'm not at my altar right now. I'm actually in another part of my home for a moment. And while I was here, you know, I figured I'd do some reading. So, please bear with me. I have the honeymoon card. Is something else what? Wedding. Honeymoon. Okay, Capricorn. What's going on here? The situation involves marriage. Enjoy the holiday time together. You guys gearing up to get married? What's going on with y'all? These are too many, but I am going to look at them because I'm nosy. Attraction, express your love, healing family issues, forgiving and learning, and let your friends help you. Okay. No. Oh. So someone may be wanting to get married, someone may be married, someone may be messing with someone that's married. Take it how it resonates. You guys may uh, spend some happy time together. Um for married couples, you guys may be trying to figure out where you can go to rekindle the flame. Some of you uh, recently lost uh, someone in a relationship. They went to someone else because they were seeking marriage and you were not quite ready. sorry how the camera is right now i don't want to fix it because that would mean i have to start the reading over and i don't want to i'm sorry it's lopsided but yeah some of you may have wanted to marry someone and they um uh, they could be married or getting ready to marry someone else one more time spirit okay Someone knows that you are a gift in their life, but they're unclear how. They don't know wh what to do with you. And someone here is moving in a false and deceptive way. They're not showing their card to the other one. May not be telling them how they feel. You know, just watching the situation. I don't want to give too much because I want to see what the hell you're doing type shit, type shit, you know? Someone here is very nurturing. I'm looking at a feminine spirit. Take it how it resonates, masculine or feminine. Okay, both can be in a feminine spirit. Um, and someone is uh, about to meet their soulmate, their divine counterpart, if you have not already. The divine counterpart could be someone that's very nurturing as well. Okay, but when you meet this person, which is a, this person is, is, is a gift, okay? But when you meet this person, you may not know how to accept them based on how you've been treated in the past. You may be like, this is some, some soap opera shit. This is too good to be true. Like, what the hell, you know? Some of you could be feeling like that, right? Because you're coming from a state of being frozen in time, like wondering when is it going to be your day? When are you going to have the things that you want? When is your person going to, to appear, okay? And this person is could be here now or could be on the way, right? You had a longing for them, a, a, a burning desire for this person to come into your life, okay? And for you to get to the next phase of your life, right? You guys are elevating spiritually as well. You guys are, are um, gaining spiritual knowledge, okay? You may be watching tarot readings, may, may be doing the research, looking things up on Google, you know, trying to learn, you know, what you were doing before you got here in this meat suit type shit. Yeah. 
you know a lot of you are learning about this twin flame journey you know the person coming into your life is going to lead to a marriage situation for some of you for some of you this person coming into your life could be married okay and you guys are going to use your discernment if you want to mess with them like that or not could be someone that's in the separation But either way, this person or you look at this person, either you look at this person as a gift or they look at you as a gift. But somebody's just very, very confused here, right? And somebody's scared to be their authentic self because you just don't want to be hurt no more, right? And you don't want to sell your soul out to the devil anymore, right? Because in the past, you know, you, you've dealt with this ruthless mofo right here. Where you felt like, you know, it was hard to get out of a relationship. It was hard to get past a relationship. You know, the person really did you in. You were in that union moving like a robot. Trying not to piss somebody off. Trying to make sure you did everything textbook-like. Doing the bare minimum just to get through. I'm hearing for some. Right? You guys had one-sided love in a previous union somebody here right somebody felt very uncomfortable union made someone feel real shitty but now you're out of that okay either you're out of it you're on your way out of it or some or or you know someone is coming towards you That's going to give you a different perspective on everything. <sighs> Page of Cups. Somebody's coming to offer you some love. My card's upside down. I don't read reversals. Yeah, they're coming to offer some love. They want to talk about it. Somebody. Uh-oh. This person uh, <laughs> may be addictive. <laughs> may have some addictions as well that they're dealing with. As they're coming towards you, they may be dealing with some codependency issues. Right? They may have some stress and strife in their life because someone does not want to let them go. This person. And yeah, they're going through some issues with someone else, right? And you. I really do feel like your heart is already trapped, right? You already like this person for the for the ones of you that's with this person. Okay? And you like them being the type of person that is uh gives you know, they reciprocate. They make sure that you're good, you know? They're they they're a good partner. They want to give and receive this type of person. But this person may be also given to someone else. Right? And this person could also be trying to hold on to you and other people. Hold on to their money. Hold on to their assets. This person could definitely be a married person. Anything else, Spirit? All right. Oh, okay. Okay. The star. Hope. Faith, right? They have hope and faith in the situation, healing energy, right? They want to. They want to move forward, right? They want to, um, <laughs> they may be fighting someone right now, fighting their way out of a corner. They're back to, back to the wall, trying to, uh, get away from a person. That's what I'm feeling. Like, again, could be this wedding, this marriage, this person working towards something. Person could be an Aries person 
or have Aries in their chart, right? This emperor could be trying to get away from a home situation. And this is the person that you could be tr trying to build with or the person that you can meet if you're not already with them. Emperor could also be female. So this could be a woman coming into your life, men, that has a husband at home that likes to play a little bit here and there. Uh, wants to say to you, hey, I'm leaving him. I ain't staying with him. That's why I'm with you. I love you, you know? You got to use your discernment. <sighs> Y'all see this, right? Forbidden. <laughs> we don't need no married mofos, female or male, right? Got a number 18, which is a 9. Let's see what the message says. Not all doorways are meant to be opened. Not all relationships are good. Not all love is expressed and not all desires are realized. Right now, Spirit is saying no. Y'all heard me? Spirit said no. The symbol for forbidden also reminds you that although you may feel pain when someone rejects you, this is one of my ways of protecting you. Spirit may whisper in someone's ear to stay away. It is for the best, even if you don't believe it right now. This is another symbol to move on and choose another path. Spirit is saying, don't y'all mess with this married mofo that's coming toward y'all. Okay? Because y'all are better than that. And I know that for all of us in the collective, time is, is taking its time. You know, divine time is at play here. And we all have to wait for things to go the way that we would like for it to go. But I'm telling you, don't give up. Right? Don't give up. You know? Don't mess with what's forbidden. Okay? Sending you all love and light, you guys. If someone needs a personal reading, you can let me know. Information's down below. Otherwise, you guys take care.